It's no secret that Texas is known for its barbecue. And in today's video, we're gonna go into the top five barbecue spots in the Dallas area, and I'm gonna rate them. Last year on the podcast, I hosted Sarah Blaskovich, senior food reporter for the Dallas Morning News, and I asked her about barbecue. What would be your go-to items at a barbecue place? Okay, uh, there's, I think there's an answer to this. So the fatty brisket, if it's a Texas style barbecue restaurant, is, is the thing to do. And you're looking for that peppery bark, you want it to pull apart easily, you want it to be juicy. Mm. So at each restaurant today, I'm gonna order the brisket, jalapeno sausage, and then the sides that they're known for. And I'll rate each spot based on the taste, the overall menu, and the atmosphere. All right, so first stop of the day is Cadillac Barbecue here in North Dallas. Now, D Magazine voted this number one barbecue spot in Dallas, so of course we have to start here first. It's about 10 a.m., which is when they opened. We pulled up, there was already a line out the door. This place, just like Cadillac cars, were known for premium automobiles. This Cadillac barbecue is known for top-notch, fall-off-the-bone quality meats. So I'm super excited to try it out. What's really cool is the founders have such a passion for barbecue that they've created murals of all the barbecue pioneers on the wall outside behind me. Let's go check it out. All right, so we're out of the line at the table. The line was about 15 minutes, which was not too bad. I, I kind of expected it to be longer, but what was impressive to me is that it just kept growing the whole time we're there, and it is kind of early in the day. So one of the things they're known for here is the fact that they use all Wagyu beef for their product. So what I ordered was a third a pound of fatty brisket or uh, a sausage. They have homemade sausages here, and the one I got was hatch chili sausage. They said they're most known for the mac and cheese, so I got that. I got a slice of cornbread, and then one of the unique things here is they have a ooey gooey butter cake, which they call crack cake, because they say you can't resist it. Now, they told me not to put barbecue sauce on it because it's just that good. I'll probably have to try the barbecue sauce. That's good. <laughs> yeah, that's really good brisket. The seasoning is amazing. You can really taste it. Not surprising, the mac and cheese is also good. If I were to rate it out of five stars, I definitely say the meats are five stars. No question about it. I'm gonna wait on the on the dessert. Desserts are kryptonite, so that might be a different rating. Yeah, I would definitely say the meats are pretty delicious. The sides are good, they didn't it didn't blow my mind out. So now we are in Dallas in the Deep Ellum neighborhood, and we are gonna go to Terry Black's barbecue. I'm actually super excited to go here. I have not been to the Dallas location. Originally, Terry Black started in Austin. I've been there a couple of times. They have a very popular restaurant and they introduced it a couple of years ago up here in Dallas. Now, when they launched, there was a little bit of controversy because it's just a couple of blocks away from Pecan Lodge, a super popular restaurant. Now, what's cool about Terry Black's is their family has been in the barbecue industry, if you will, for nearly a century. In the 1930s, the family was doing barbecue in Lockhart, which is in many ways the epicenter of Texas barbecue. They launched their popular restaurant in Austin, and now they're trying to replicate that success up here in Dallas. Let's go check it out. All right, Terry Black. So before we went in and ordered, we actually got a little pit tour, which is crazy. It just amazes me what a labor of love barbecue is. We talked to the pit master. These pieces of brisket are cooked almost 12 hours and then rest for almost that long too before they're served to us in, in the line, which is just so impressive to me. One thing that's kind of cool about Terry Black's here is cafeteria style. So you actually order your sides first and then order your meat. I'm excited to dig in and check this out. All right, so we got brisket. This looks so good. Look at how tender it is. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> and then homemade jalapeno and cheese sausage. There's almost like a sweet and saltiness to the sausage. It's really good. And then some mac and cheese, which is seems to be popular at all the barbecue places. Yeah, I approve. All right, so it is obvious why Terry Black's is an award-winning barbecue spot. I would say too, I love the overall vibe. It's a great overall barbecue vibe. Five stars from me. I do think if you're really all about the meats and the food, 
Cadillac might edge them out just a little bit. And you're not gonna be able to go wrong with either. So when we were talking to the pit master, he shared with us that they're opening up another location in DFW in Fort Worth, and then also a location in Waco this year. So there'll be more opportunities for you to check out Terry Black's. And now we're gonna head to a spot that I've always loved in Bishop Arts. All right, so our next stop is also in Dallas in the neighborhood of Bishop Arts. We're here at Lockhart Smokehouse. Lockhart Smokehouse was actually the first barbecue place I discovered when I moved to Dallas over a decade ago. And I was blown away when I was introduced to this cuisine and I've now obviously since become a huge fan of barbecue. And now we're back today. There are other Lockhart locations. There's also one in downtown Plano, but I wanted to come to the original one in Dallas here at Bishop Arts. Lockhart has a pretty cool story because it was started by ex-Texans who have been living in New York talking about uh, barbecue and they came back and made that vision of a barbecue place real. They have a German heritage and they bring a little bit of that into the cuisine. Let's go check it out. We ordered a side, deviled eggs, which is our most popular cold side. And then of course, fatty briskets. Ooh, and this is nice and greasy. And we ordered uh, jalapeno sausage. Now, I think I mentioned the German heritage, so they have their sausage from the cruise market here. And I always like their barbecue sauce here too, but let's try it without first. It's definitely good. I do, I feel like it's not quite as tender as the other places we've tried so far today. But I recall really liking their sauce here. So maybe that's maybe that's the secret here. Yeah, that that does make a difference. And now we'll try the jalapeno sausage. Yeah, I can feel kind of the like they talk about the German. And it's also the heat of the jalapeno sneaks up a little bit on this sausage. And this, the smoked deviled eggs are something I was looking forward to here. Yeah, those are good. I feel like there's brisket in the deviled egg. <laughs> I'm not sure how I feel about eating my third barbecue lunch of the day. I've been eating barbecue since about 10 a.m. and it's now 2 p.m., but it is pretty good. All right, so that's Lockhart Smokehouse. Good experience overall. I think when I stack it up, comparing the other two that we've already been to, I might give it a four stars. Food's great. I definitely really like their sauce here. And what's cool is I didn't realize this, you can actually buy their sauce to take it home with you too. So I might consider that. One thing though, if I were just looking for an afternoon where barbecue was part of the story and not the whole story, I probably definitely want to go here because the Bishop Arts neighborhood is super cool. There's a lot going on here. It feels a little more upscale than Deep Ellum. Deep Elm is more about the bars and the clubs. Here you can combine it with shopping, desserts, coffee shops, and just make an afternoon of it. And so definitely I would put this on your list or keep this on your list for barbecue spots. So here's the thing. I've eaten a lot of barbecue today and I love barbecue, but I think I'm gonna take a pause on this for today and pick it up again tomorrow to show you our last two spots. All right, next up on the barbecue tour is Hutchins Barbecue uh, up in McKinney, Texas. Now my clients tell me uh, that this is the best spot to go to. So I'm super excited. I've actually never been here before. Hutchins does have another location in Frisco and rumor has it that one of the family members, this family has a long history of barbecue, but they're gonna be opening up another location too. I guess there's some drama about naming and recipes and all of that, but I think we can expect another Hutchins related barbecue spot in the Metroplex soon. One of the things that's unique about this barbecue spot compared to others is it has a drive through So I think that's super cool. If we live in the area and you want to take home some barbecue, um, that's an option here. This is rated by readers of the Dallas Morning News as the best spot in DFW. So let's go check it out. So let me dig in here, starting with the brisket. I can already tell it's super tender. That's good. That's really good. In the process of this adventure, I learned that the, the things that they rate barbecue are our first appearance, second tenderness, and third flavor. Of course, if you have the best flavor, you can win just on that, but the other two are important factors also. I would say this is good on all those fronts. Now for the jalapeno sausage. I approve. 
a little bit of spice there. And then this is gonna be really exciting. This is a Texas twist, I think they called it, which has inside of it bacon, jalapeno, a little bit of brisket, and then cream cheese. And they put a little bit of a sauce on it uh, in the line when I ordered it. That's really good. Really, really good. Well, this is cheesy mac and cheese, which it looks like it has some, some bacon in it. That's good mac and cheese. And then lastly, the broccoli salad. It's maybe the only green thing I've had on this whole barbecue adventure. That's good too. I actually liked it quite a bit. All right, so that's Hutchins Barbecue in McKinney. Five-star experience, it was awesome. Uh, on the way out, we bumped into the manager who was kind enough to give us a pit tour and explain a little more about the process. Ooh, look at that. Brisket's just went in. So that's, that's like, these are gonna cook for what? Like 12 hours? 15 to 18 hours. Wow. Slow and low, 200 to 225 degrees. How many pounds of meat are in here? Uh, you can fit in this up to uh, 25 to 30 briskets. And these are pretty big briskets here. What is? You can, you can easily get 25 to 30. Each wow. brisket averaging 10 to 12 pounds in weight after you trim it. So just to give you an idea. Yeah, yeah. So uh, you're serving thousands of pounds of brisket each uh, week. About 10,000 a week or about wow. five tons. And that's a non-holiday week. If it's a uh, holiday week, then you can like, go through 15 to 16 Holy thousand cow. Pounds. Yeah. That's a lot of meat. Literally, holy cow, yeah. Holy cow, that's a great way to put it, yeah. <laughs> he said I missed out by not tasting the uh, pork ribs, and we got a sample of those, and those were amazing. The ribs. All right. Well, we'll just taste it here right on video, and then this guy can have one, too. It should literally fall off the bone when you bite into it. It does. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was good. You're right, it falls right off the bone. Should have a really good flavor there with that hint mm -hmm. of the uh, glaze on there. It's a little bit of sweetness. It's yeah, I like the sweetness, yeah. Out. One of the things that was really cool to me is he shared with how the Hutchins family has thought about their sourcing. And so they have paid attention to the farms and the slaughterhouses where they get their meat from. So they know they're getting a quality product. They understand the food chain. And I think it really shows up in the quality of the food. I did make sure to sample that dessert bar. Also a really amazing peach cobbler with ice cream. Overall, like I said, a five-star experience. Great time at Hutchins this afternoon. All right, last up on the tour is 1050 Barbecue in Richardson. This has been one of my longtime go-to spots. Really, it's the, it's the closest great barbecue to Plano. I am curious now, having tried some of the best barbecue spots in all of DFW, how it stacks up, so we saved this one for last. One of the things I've always liked about 1050 is the overall vibe. It has a nice upscale feeling. It's great for bringing guests to. One of the things that's fun is they open at 1050. And if you like 1050 barbecue, they will have a location opening in the Dallas area off of Lover's Lane at Preston Park here in the next couple months. So let's go check it out. All right, so same order we've been getting, uh, fatty brisket, jalapeno cheddar sausage. And they told me, and this caught me off guard, that their most popular sides are baked beans and potato salad. So we're gonna check those out. And of course, I couldn't resist. They have made from scratch desserts and I wanted to try some key lime pie. Now this is truly fatty brisket. I still really like this. This is great barbecue. It's super tender, good flavor. Let's just try the sauce too. Sausage is good, not great. I think compared to all the other barbecue we've had on this adventure, that sausage, we've had some really good sausage. I can see why that's popular. And these baked beans also have brisket in them. Yeah, those are really good. They're sweet, the brisket. I do think this stacks up to all the other spots, for sure. I approve. So that's 1050 barbecue. Still love this place. I think the story here is definitely the overall vibe or the location itself. It's a little more upscale, a little more polished than the other barbecue places we've been. Now, here's the tricky thing. I showed you all the best places in the Dallas area. They're all pretty fantastic. I think if I were trying to figure out which one am I going to, if I just want to have really, really great barbecue food, I'm probably going to Cadillac or Hutchins. I did like Hutchins a lot, maybe overall all their food. It was a very warm and welcoming environment. It's a little trek if you're coming from Dallas. Now, if you want to go somewhere, just a good overall experience, 
1050 might be the spot for you. Or if you want to go to a place where you're going to make a day of it, spend the afternoon in the neighborhood, or maybe hang out on a patio and drink beers, I'm probably looking at Terry Black's or Lockout Smokehouse. I recommend you try them at all during your time living in or visiting DFW. Lots of great options to try. I want to hear your favorite barbecue spots, or where should I be trying next? Leave it in the comments below. We'll see you all in the next video.